Hey, uh, welcome to the uh, Arches and Corners uh, video. Arches and Corners. Uh, I think you saw the picture on the in the uh, on one of the first uh, uh, posts. What I'm trying to do here, and uh, the reason why I don't use the railings, uh, and the build the newels, the beam, and all that other other kind of stuff, is because I don't think there's enough control. I don't think I have enough control over it. So this is really what I'm trying to do. I could control C, control B. I take a Look, see, I'm creating an opening right here, okay? And I want to shove it all the way into the corner. And I want to, I want to, I want to create a uh, an open corner right there. And there's a reason for it. Control C V. Now the key is you got to put these the middle pieces in first. I think. I don't think you can. There we go. And now, and now you can see I've created a corner right there, right? And just move this the, the column up. It's a piece of mill work. Now, now, the, now, this is this is sort of what bugs me. One thing that bugs me is I can't just stretch that out. You can't take this end of this piece and shove it into the corner. You see that? Look, look, look on this, this other side. This, this is sort of what bugs me. I guess I wish I could. I guess I wish I could just take this end piece and I could drag it to the corner. That way, uh, I could have one opening. But I can't. I have to have two different openings. Let's see if I could do it this way. Uh, there. Now I got it into the corner. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to take this with Control C, V, stick it right here. And I'm going to create another corner situation. Got it. And now, by the way, you need to make sure that these two things are, uh, they're actually windows. You can't do this with doors. You can't do this with doors. And of course, you need to go to the frame. And you, have to, you have to make sure there's uh, no corner post selected. So now this is, you, you can see what's what's going on here. Do I, do I need to flip this? I'll flip this wall over real quick, just so it makes more sense to you or makes sense to somebody. Uh, flip this with this wall over. So n now, you know, now I'm starting to create what I want. Now, I, but I want the whole open. I want the whole thing open. Why do I want the whole thing open? Okay, there. Uh, hold on, stop, stop. Back on, back on. Uh, I just had to turn, put the minimum opening to two inches on the openings and that stuff. So now I've got rid of this. And sometimes, okay, first of all, I've done read too good in three three D because uh, I had I had this line there, but I, I guess I'm sort of getting. Somehow I'll work my way around it. But now you see I've got this whole thing open right there. I've got a whole open thing. And so what's the, okay, fine. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I, and when I have these openings, I've got to take them, uh, give me a second here, I'll find it right here. Now I can take this piece right here, which is uh, control C, predefined as being a lower, watch this. I just put that, I just put, I just put that hole in there, right? I just put that hole in there. And what the beauty of this is now I can, Shove it all the way over to the corner, and uh, Control C V stick. Sorry, give me a second. And I think a couple of you guys could probably help me with this. I think. Uh, you know, me, you might, you might be able to find a, a better way to do it. Uh. There you go. And now you, you see, I cannot, I cannot control the different thicknesses of these these lower walls. Um, if I didn't use these openings, if I used railings or whatever, I I couldn't control the the, the width of these pilasters. And someone once said, hey, "Build it like I mean, model it like they build it." And so that's what I'm essentially doing. I mean, they, they, when if you build this thing, you're going to build it out of walls, right? And so that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to put an arch in here. And so you now I've created this arch. And, you know, if, if you're meeting with a client, the client says, no, I don't want that arch that big. I want it this big. And let's change it up. Or if I want to change it up, I can. And so you, if you look at over here on the right-hand side, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I, I think this is very much more – oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait. This is much more flexible than making it out of columns and stuff. I can space it. I can change the, the arch openings and stuff. You know, I mean, that to me is kind of pretty. Not pretty uh, useful. Now, what happens here is this is a railing right here. Let me get this out of the way so you can see what's going on. This is a railing right here that I uh, – it's uh, no room depth. Now, I will say that if you monkey around with this enough, you'll know you'll, – you'll experience that this thing does give you problems. Uh, it, it creates its own little problems, and I don't know why. I, it's, an, it's It should be a, a – non-room dot it's not defined as a room i mean a, a wall so but it does give me problems sometimes so tab 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 uh hang on a second is that the mid one 
Well, what am I looking at? Well, that's what I'm looking at right there. And I want to, is that the mid one? You, oh, I think that's the mid one. Yeah, that's the mid one. Now watch what happens. See, I can change this opening. I can edit it. This is kind of like uh, uh, if, if you're modeling. And people talk about having being able to model this in 3D. Well, this is essentially what I'm doing. Look at this. I look on the right-hand side. I'm changing the size of that opening. In fact, I, I can come over here and say blah, blah, blah. And then, then I can go control C, B, stick this right here. And now i got to put – look at this. This to me is kind of powerful. And this is what some of the guys are talking about, about being able to model this stuff. Now, what I don't like is, you know, why, why do I have this gray stuff right here? Now, it doesn't look good in 3D, I mean, in plan view. And I, I don't know. It just, it just doesn't. So, and, and so, and so you, you're going to say, well, again, with a railing thing, why, why don't I work with a railing? Watch what, watch what happens right here. Suppose, Suppose I really want two columns in the center. I, I hope I hope I fix fix the right tab. Uh, yeah, I think uh, tab. That's it right there. Watch this. I'm gonna watch the right hand side. I'm gonna open up that lower opening. See, I open up the lower opening. But wait a second. I really want two columns to fit there. So I narrow that thing down. I select a column right here, O A to copy, and I move it over here. And now I've got two columns. And I can take this one, this column right here, oh wait, and I can move this over here like this if I want. Oh no, maybe I want it right there. And then I take this thing and I put it over here, uh, put it over here. I hope I fixed, uh, I, uh, yeah, I fixed the right, I picked the right one. Oh wait, pull it over here. And uh, now you're gonna see that I've created another pilot. Look on the right hand side, I've created another pilaster. And in my mind, that's kind of cool. I just, I think it's kind of cool. By the way, I sort of, I guess I sort of made a mis For this deck out here, there's several ways of doing it. I made it out of invisible walls, but I probably should have made it out of, I just probably should have done it the same way as I did the other stuff. But I can take this railing right here. I can put this railing right, say, right here. And that's, a, and that, and another, that's a, again, another reason why I like to use these railings as non-room def. Because then I can slide them around where I want them. Do I want them set back four inches from the uh, from the deck, or twelve inches, or sixteen inches? I mean, how many times have we talked about that kind of stuff, right? Wait, wait. I I, I don't want that much of deck showing, so I want to pull it over like this. And I just pull it over like this a little bit, right? I mean, what, what what's so hard about that? It, it makes sense to me. And you see, making out a railing with these things. Well, how do you control where that is, the distance from there to the edge of the deck? I, and I, I know you can do polyline solids and all that other kind of crap, but we, we all know that to, that's not too good. So one more time, let me see if I could. How much time do I have? I, I, I'm not going to stretch this out. I've got 55 seconds. Anyway, that's the idea. And, and, and a final point is when when you create these corner situations. When you collect, select these, make these corners. So I kill the corner. It's a corner window deal. It's a corner window deal. You can't do that with door openings. Try it out. You can't do it with door openings. Try it. It has to be uh, a window or a pass through. Okay, fine. Well, what's the problem with that? First of all, it doesn't read as, uh, as good in three, uh, in plan view. So I don't know why I can't do a, a door opening that meets the corner. Just try it. Play play around with this. I'll post this plan. You guys play with it, and and you'll you'll find that you'll uh, see all the the uh, uh, problems I have. And, and again, um, you know, I'm I'm not making these out of symbols and columns and stretch arches and balances and stuff because I don't want to do that. I, I mean, I I don't think I want to make a. I don't want to. I mean, this is a better way of doing it, and I'm, I'm it's almost there. It's almost there. Anyway, I'll post the plan, and if you guys. And I think uh, I think uh, the Alaskan son's pretty good at figuring it, figuring this stuff out. He, he's uh, anyway, Michael. If you can get a chance to look at this and give me some tips, that'd be great. Oh, one one final thing I want to say, and that is, you, you, when you do this, you really should put the middle piece in first. Then you can put the arches uh, in, and you can put the lower piece in. Uh, but but that's essentially what I'm trying to do, and that's the end. Uh, thanks for listening, and uh, any help that you can give me would be uh, greatly appreciated. And maybe if enough of you guys feel like like you, this would be useful to you, uh, you can pass this on to the chief and they can kind of work on it. But this this comes back to the modeling.
people talk about being able to model. This is, I, in my mind, this is a pretty good way of modeling. And just just a quick uh, HF, uh, just um, uh, well, huh. well, that doesn't look too good, does it? That doesn't look too good, does it? The framing on that. I was hoping it, the frame was better. But you know, when I cut a section, I, I guess when I cut a section one more time, uh, when I cut a section, oh come on, Scott. When I cut a section, I think I'd like to see um, I'd like to see the framing and the stucco and all that other stuff. Okay, there you go. See, I, I, you can see that I'm seeing the stucco and the plywood and that kind of stuff. When I cut a section, that's what I want to see. I don't. And so the question is: Is am I doing this for modeling? Only modeling? Uh, only uh, 3D views? No, I'm doing it for 3D views. And I'm also doing it for plan views. I'm trying to work both ways. I want to build a model that looks good in plan view and 3D view. And that's the end. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.